so this is the Oolong versus Cool Cow, Mega Drive Classic. Uh, I think this is Winter Series. Uh, I'm not sure. Unfortunately, uh, it's that BW Static got up to on one side, so he won't be able to up and hold the Mega Drive Classic on the other half of the bracket. But Goofy Weaver did take it over the Barking Frog, so we could see a Mega Drive Winner's Finals. Typical one. Or we will see a Mega Drive Typical Winner's Finals. Um, so traditionally, Oolong does win this matchup. Uh, Steve versus Refit. He's very patient. He understands how to punish Steve where he has punished um, multiple options. He's very good about killing Cal where needed. Um, and Oolong today is playing for the money. I don't know if you all know this, but there is a $300 cop on the store. Or $200 cop on my bad. So Oolong here to play the game. Um, Cal, you know, he's gotten some games on Oolong. I don't think he's ever gotten sets, unfortunately. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how he makes the adaptions he makes today. Uh, Oolong coming out. I'm assuming this is game one, so Oolong's coming out with a bit of a lead. And you can see here, he's not, he doesn't need to interact if he doesn't want to. So he's taking any of the favorable moments. He's using his neutral, his ball, or he's playing neutral with ball and sun very much, but keeping deep breathing up where possible. Making sure to apply a little bit of pressure so Steve can't blind belligerently. But other than that, just very normal gameplay. Um, and Oolong also super comfortable led with Wii Fit, which is somewhere that Steve is traditionally very strong. Oh, great tech on that. But Cal's going to catch the uh, jump out onto the plat with an up smash good on Cal. Two stocks to two stocks. Uh, we actually have another Steve here named, by the name of Bark and Frog. They play pretty differently than uh, Cool Cal. So it's cool to see the different dynamics. Uh, cool Cal a little bit more um, technical. It makes his combos a little harder. Uh, Bark and Frog a little more neutral, you know. Now, Oolong is kind of pulled away in the lead here. I don't know if I wasn't paying attention to exactly what happened just there. I looked away for a second and another set. Um, but this is probably going to be a real long one just for overall. Oolong not one to play particularly fast unless the opponent is really rushing down. And uh, Steve is not a character that lends himself to playing particularly fast, although he can delete stocks very quickly. Um, Kyle actually has like no resources right now. I don't know if he knows that. I would think it would honestly be better to just give up this web stuff completely and just literally put up blocks in my research. Like, it's probably more valuable for him, and he's going to live that. Uh, Nerda up there, not quite going to kill this percent, um, even with the deep breathing. Uh, F-Tilt not going to land against Steve's up here, but f Smash will definitely kill. That move is very strong. This one strengthens the back and improves not. We're going to take on uh, we're going to take down Battle Fit this time. Uh, I don't know per particularly well how much Wii Fit likes Battlefield or not. Um, I know that generally speaking, side platforms are not particularly good for Wii Fit. If you actually just let step from that side side, she kind of can't like do anything, so she has to just kind of like mix with timing. Like she doesn't have a good like retaliation option. It's very good against Wii Fit, who's traditionally very strong at the ledge because of Ball and Sun. Um, but Cal not even electing to do that, and he is still currently in the lead. Uh, that was a good little TNT setup, very classic, I'm just going to catch the roll. And now we're mining. Uh, not going to be a kill, uh, Nerda back air, but good damage, and now he's in the lead, uh, Nerda up air is going to connect. I feel like he could have air dodged for something, I'm not sure that that was true there, but regardless, we don't do long to know that he can stay. You can't just be ripping up smashes there, Cal. You gotta know. Uh, Ulan getting out of the corner there. Cal just getting a little antsy. Um, all he's gonna do is really slow it down a little bit. Maybe go for a couple grabs. No, realize what Ulan is doing off the ledge. He's not attacking. He's not jumping immediately. He's getting off the ledge and he's either shielding or he's trying to re like, wait for what you're gonna do. Um, if you just react there, I feel like it would work very, very well in your favor, especially when you don't have your trap set up. I mean, Steve still has very quick options, right? Oh, such good movement from Ulan, getting all the way to the top flat just to cover uh, Cal's landing there. 
The roll just to cut stage space. And there to side B. Not going to connect, but a good threat. The reverse hit of the ball into the sun. F tilt ball. Not going to be able to connect. I really like what Oolong's doing here, where he's like mixing up where he's throwing the ball and how and like the timing he's throwing it at. But also on top of that, he's like forcing the engagements, right? So like if Steve, you'll see if when Steve, uh, Kill Cow puts up a wall, Oolong will break the wall with Nair or Fair. I'm actually not totally sure on what move he's using, but then he'll immediately run back to the ball. And it's super safe for him, but it forces Steve to have to either A, immediately put up a wall. Ooh. That down air was kind of clean. And that's gonna be 2-0 to Oolong. That was the was that best of five?